Hello everyone, very good morning. And I believe you have gone both the first two videos of inner mind condition. In the first video, I have discussed about how the data and all is there. So please go through the first video. You will be able to understand the context of uh, these three videos. Okay. And uh, let me uh, revise you once again quickly. We were having the two different tables and having the one table uh, with the character data type and another table is having the integer data type. You can see the marks is having the character data type and here it is integer data type. And when we put the inner when condition because of the two different data type, it does not allow neither in CDS nor in uh, new open SQL. So how uh, we can solve it over there in the new open SQL I have already discussed in the CDS one possible solution, but that was not perfectly, uh, you know, 100% uh, well, you know, uh, foolproof solution because if you have uh, the uh, space in that it was not working in the CDS. So like uh, how to go ahead, how to solve such kind of scenario. So in such situation, you know, we are supposed to use the CDS table function. This is the best solution. So let me show you how to do this. So go to the Eclipse and here already have created one CDS with the table function, right? So you know how to create the CDS with the table function, go to the, uh, uh, go to the new data definition, right? Give the name, description all these things click on this next button give z click on this next button you know and you have to choose like you can choose the uh, template over here define table with the parameters right so like that you can go and like you don't know how to create and all i have uh, a cds course or maybe you can subscribe to my app on hana course and there you will see in very much depth in detail about all the aspect of the series but here in this uh, particular video let's go and see already i have created this one in cds table function the template will come something like this with parameters parameter name this you may comment this one or if you want like you know if you want to pass the uh, default parameter like the current client itself so maybe you can give the p underscore client over here and from here, a map dot CLNT, this parameter we can choose. Okay. And we want to make sure that it will always take the current system parameter. You can use that environment variable for the system field is the system client. Okay. Just save this one. Right. So that parameter will always go, uh, always it will take the uh, you know, current client. Okay. And now you have to create one uh, MDP class in that uh, MDP function need to be created with this get underscore data, right? And uh, how to do that one quickly, let me show you so that you will get some better idea directly. So I'm going to create one another class uh, because this class already I have created. I want to just show you in real time how you can also create. So maybe I send a score one, right? And uh, all the return fields which you are expecting to show in the output, you know, so client we can give over here because by default it expects to have the client field over here, you know, client dependent. Uh, this we are doing so by default it is there. So we have to give this client name of this data element we can give and make sure that you put the semicolon over here because dot or comma will be giving you will get some error and that error is not very much self understandable so uh, you know make sure that you give the semicolon right and now we are going to click quickly create this uh, mdp class it's a uh, easy all right click over here uh not uh, here, but uh, here. Uh, go, to, go to here in the package. We would like to get in the package about class or from here, you know, from if you don't see over here, go to the other and from there you can type 
the class and we will find. So that name we are going to give and inner circle in a uh, not inner circle actually I mean such kind of example I show in my inner circle class so that's why uh, in in just I'm used to that I started typing that one but uh, you can give any taste you know or click on this next button and then about ticks uh, next and then again like you know we can click on this finish button so we have to create one udf uh, uh, we have to create one mdp function and for that purpose we have to make this uh, mdp class so right here in the comment box what interface need to be used to make a class as a mdp class right if underscore mdp underscore marker underscore stb this is the uh this is the interface we have to if underscore mdp underscore marker underscore sdb right this is and in series table function we must have to declare always the static class right so this static class we can give over here the name of the same class right this one Sorry, name of method actually we'll have to give. So give the name of the method and for for name of the CDS table function. So close all this. So CDS table function, this one. So for table function, this we can give and just save this one come here uh, come here and activate this table function first okay activate this it will not give you any error no? just activate this right if you think that it has not yet has been created and not activated it will give error no it will not give the error it did not check for that or not you know but uh, at runtime actually it takes it, it checks at runtime so it should be there right if it is not there it will give you the error so let's come over here now we are going to implement the method so come here and just just save it and click on the syntax check some some error is there that is fine for table function come here and add implementation get data for by database function for SDB language SQL escaped options read only because this is your UDF and two tables we are going to use so that two tables you must have to mention it over here Z student underscore detail and Z marks underscore words right these are the two tables which we have created and the select query and we are going to write it so maybe directly i can or, or let's let's write it quickly over here select uh some field from both the table right so roll number then name right let me quickly have the look so roll underscore number student underscore name student underscore then that marks in words right another table which we are having that is same words this is the field we are interested in but actually, you know, whatever we are giving it over here, that should be there in the select query. So client name marks and marks in words, right? So roll number is not there. Roll number is not required. Client name marks and marks in word. So this will have to same name you have to give it. So name we are giving, we have to define name marks and marks in words, right? 
So name we have given because in CDS table function, final returning value is name. So and MNDT is the as client. Then uh, then box in bots. Here alias is not required, right? Because already the same name we are using, correct? Uh, then what else? It looks good now. Name marks and marks in words. Marks in words. One more marks in words. The student name marks is also there, right? Marks, marks, marks. From table Z, the student underscore detail as a student in a join z marks underscore words this is the table let's give some alias as words so mndt we can get it from any of the here is student name student so a student a student and this we can get from so just using the alias in a join on condition student dot marks equals to words dot semicolon and because this is the table function so return a statement we must have to if some error is there let's uh correct that error right it looks good now see one thing over here you can observe let me check the syntax check the there is no error right here you can say that contains no error and if you activate this like this so what you observe the first point that in open sql in cds at both the places though that you know uh, there were uh, the data type mismatch it was giving the error in the above you know new open sql and uh, in the cds it was giving the error but here it does not give any error right so this is one important point which uh, should be noted over here right so without using any casting or something like that here in the open sql it's a walk uh, in the sql script it's working perfectly fine right check this one and activate this one and here you can come and press effect see here <laughs> you can see that the inner join condition is also working fine there is no problem but sometimes like if you have some another data type integer data type let's suppose right if you have the integer data type or let's suppose if you have the raw data type in that case what you will have to do you have to cast okay so what i mean let's suppose this is the uh this 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 is the raw data type okay and this is your integer data type in that case it will not allow you to give like this then what you will have to do that you have to use the cast operator okay and then you have to convert that into the corresponding data type integer or character or something like that so above.care will not support here in fact it will support uh so so see integer to character okay so here this is the character here this is the integer right without converting also it's working fine but let's suppose if you have to convert then how you can do you can use the as and max here it's the integer data type i want to convert into the character so here the character data type is this one a varchar let's make it in unique code in varchar and that was of 60 characters so making that this also 60 okay so like that we can do it and this will work fine this will work fine just save this one you can see that so, however in this case conversion is not required but if you have some data type where it's not working you can use the cast operator and you can utilize this 
the benefit of uh, cast operator so press f8 and see now 50 40 other 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 is not coming see here okay other is not coming when we have converted right into the character data type it is not working let me close this one it's not working right why because your integer data type is getting converted into character and character to character comparison when it's uh, taking place what the system is understanding that a space like you know that a space it is uh, not removing the space which is having over there when it was the integer data type at that time system was making this as also integer you know and then it was working fine right so in this case it's not working fine but what you can do that if uh, this is the scenario like where the space is creating the issue you can use the trim function very powerful function and in one of my project you know where i have to deliver i used this one in order to remove the space okay so because of the space issue see why this is not working at this moment reason behind that because of this space right and i'm converting this integer to character right this integer uh, this character is already character and this integer i'm creating character so now character to character comparison is taking place and this space this space system is considering and that's why and because here there is no space it's not giving me but in the first scenario when i did use the cast operator right that scenario how the system was doing this integer it was converting with the uh, checking with the character and internally it it was you know converting this uh, uh, character to integer and checking that's why it was working fine right so let me show you once again copy this and i i want i just want to make sure that you understand the concept well so like if you simply use like this it's working fine there is no problem right without using the cast operator but sometimes you may have to use the cast operator in that case if due to some spaces or something like that if you are fishing then how how to tackle with you know how to tackle with see here you are getting all the data right all the data you are perfectly getting fine so in that scenario basically i'm trying to tell use this way okay use the trim function where you have the space right and let's suppose if you were there in the integer data type, right? An integer data type, if you have some space, there comes sometimes you will see that the integer data type, some unknown space is there from the left. There, first convert into the character data type, and then you can use the trim, uh, trim right? Or else directly a trim uh, with integer, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not trim directly with integer maybe we can check that one so here let's suppose if we're going to use the trim function just, just checking you know here here not required trim because our data is good looks like this is fine right with integer also it's working fine check the syntax so trim can be used anywhere right trim can be used anywhere in my scenario it is not required but like if you want to make sure that uh, if some space is there here also we can use so first it's going to trim the marks if some space is there and then uh, it's going to convert into the character data type and here it's already character data type and just we want to make sure here also if some space is there make sure that it is going to remove so like that we can do the save it check the syntax over here and activate this one and now come over here and press f8 and you can see that all the records is again coming now perfectly there is no problem one another tips i would like to share over here which uh, i have come across what happens that that uh, you know in this integer data type i were having some negative value okay i were having some negative value a negative value at the database layer you know in the web application server it stores like 100 minus 200 minus something like that 
right so when i was converting from integer to character this minus one we are taking as a you know uh character it were getting converted as a character right and here though we were having again minus 100 minus 200 you know it was not taking place system was not able to compare that so in that situation what we are supposed to do simply multiply with one okay simply multiply one so that system will understand okay you know system will understand that it has to be first converted into integer or some internal manipulation happens and it will give you the correct result again it will depend uh you know case to case but in my case when i face that particular issue i simply multiplied with one right and it started working fine for me i was not able to replicate the scenario over here right because in those table those table we are belonging from the uh you know mdg table okay so uh usmd uh, one two uh three something like that the table was there and uh, then usmd i think one to see also one more table so like that i was having the different different uh, table over there and data was you know having some issue and I had to create one serious report and that's where I was facing the issue and this is how I was able to do so like if you want to you know uh, multiply it multiply uh, it with the one here you know so after multiplying this value with one we can trim right we can trim like this this is completely possible right so simply what I did that uh, where that uh, this minus minus was coming, I simply multiplied with this uh, one, right? So if you are also facing such kind of issue, maybe you can give it a try by multiplying with one if the comparison is not taking place uh, correctly. Another solution was using the like operator, but there was no guarantee that that is going to give you the correct result. Okay, so let's, let me not make it uh, more complex. The simple thing is that if some minus is over here in the marks, and here also you are having the minus, like, you know, minus 100 then minus 200 right it is possible it is a character data type you can put it minus and here it is an integer data type 100 minus 200 minus if something like this data is stored and if you're converting this integer to character data type and then you are putting uh you know the comparison over there and if it's not working then here you know in the integer one you can try by multiplying uh, after doing the casting then multiply with one right like this like i'm casting right and after casting just i will multiply with the one over here right so casting and simply i will multiply and put it like this okay so this is what actually i'm trying to uh, share with you okay so simply so what it will do it will make sure that it is going to be integer because you are going to put uh into one right into one means system will understand okay you are putting some mathematical operation that means some numeric data type is there right and it will again compare with the uh this this character will con get converted into the numeric and taking uh comparison at uh, uh, taking comparison properly right and will give us the correct result. So if you also come across this kind of situation, please feel free to share in the comment box and other will also learn. I will also learn from your comment. So this is what I wanted to share in this about tips. Hope you found uh, it useful. If you found you it useful, feel free to write here in the comment box that useful right it will it will motivate me more to prepare such videos right and if you're looking some course some good courses you can always go to sapdatmyg.com slash slash store and look out different different courses which you might feel very useful you can subscribe to any of the course and you know be in touch with me thank you for being with me and uh, watching this video 
Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.